A car mechanic has to have a very good understanding of how uh, all the pieces of a car come together to make it work. Uh, similarly, if we can understand how all the structures inside our cells interact with one another, uh, then we can gain incredible insight into how cells function. Solving the three-dimensional organization of these structures allows us then to design uh, drugs and antibiotics and vaccines. One of the main focuses of my lab is uh, the study of neurodegenerative diseases. If we can figure out how neurons look when they're functioning normally, then we can compare the structures of those neurons to neurons that are dysfunctional. Uh, for example, neurons of a Parkinson's patient or someone with Alzheimer's. We can then develop early detection technologies or therapies that will allow us to then combat these diseases for the first time. I was really excited to participate in Saturday Science. I think it's really, really important that we engage with the community at all levels, and I think the most important level is at a young age. The, middle school to high school, because that's when students really start gaining an appreciation for science. We should do whatever we can to get them inspired and, and excited about research. Science is not what we read in textbooks, necessarily, and that there's a lot that we don't know. I don't think there's ever going to be uh, a point where we've figured everything out. Uh, I think there's always going to be room to learn, expand, uh, and just be fascinated by what's happening inside ourselves.